we have identified sectors where Canada has strength, competence, and know-how, and where Nigeria has opportunity. So in, in, in selecting these sectors, we are creating a situation that, that is win-win. So Canadians come to Nigeria, they meet with our, poli our policy makers, our regulators, and our business leaders, and they get a sense of what the country has to offer. And I believe that with the engagement we've embarked upon so far, we had the first summit, we had um, two road shows in May in Toronto and Calgary, and we've had ongoing visits and engagements and other ad hoc presentations. I think it is a building process, but we're putting the building blocks in place. And I think that by the time we have the summit we're holding in November in Abuja and the program in Toronto in, in October, there'll be an, an even greater sense of awareness concerning the prospects for Canadians to invest well in Nigeria. Nigeria needs that type of collaboration to believe the foundation we're trying to, to lay right now. When we look at where economic growth is coming for, for Canadians, it's, uh, it's not in the traditional uh, developed markets. The real opportunities for Canadians are to get abroad into emerging markets like Africa and particularly Nigeria. It's a, it's a huge economy with uh, lots of opportunities for Canadians in areas where we have a real comparative advantage. Mining, uh, oil and gas, agriculture are just examples. And so at Elevate Export Finance Corp, part of our job and part of our mission is really to encourage those those Canadian companies to uh, spread their wings a little bit and look abroad to see where those opportunities are and to facilitate that with uh, solutions and knowledge. I would definitely endorse uh, Canada-Nigeria uh, relationship, doing more investments because we need to get together and we need to explore opportunities, how we can grow together and how we can take advantage and benefit from each other's experiences. With 80% with of the population of Nigeria being youth, that's a big plus for countries like Canada because that's where the talent lies. As we all know that for any company to succeed, that company requires a lot of energy and a lot of man hours to make it happen. And when you're dealing with youth, the number one advantage for any company is adaptability because youth can adapt to the new latest technologies and youth is hungry in developing countries because they want to learn from the talent which we have in Canada and at the same time they have lots to give back to us. I believe the private sector in Nigeria is ready. I think government has done a lot to ensure that um, the investment climate is much more wholesome and much more investor friendly and I think the private sector has keyed into the form reforms that government is making and I believe that they're ready. The private sector needs an inflow of Canadian capital, an inflow of Canadian technical expertise to collaborate and take advantage of the opportunities. But the private sector in Nigeria also is quite capable, really unable. Uh, um, recently, some people went to Nigeria on a visit. That was in the month of, of August. And they met with some of, our, of, uh, of their counterparts in the private sector. And they were very impressed. This was actually in the education space. By the time they met and had discussions and saw what was going on, they got a sense that, um, that the time is right for them to invest. And they, they're actually coming to the summit in, in November. So I believe the private sector is ready.